Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video, I want to talk about how you can hide some of the fields together, multiple fields in Power BI, so that you have a better experience in the front end for your self-service visualizers and report visualizers. In Power BI Desktop or in Power BI Service, you can use the same approach. Let's dig into that and see how it is working. One of the situations that happens often is when you have fields that you want to use in your, uh, you need them in your model, but you don't need them for visualizations. Uh, these can be fields that you use for uh, the two sides of the relationships, fields that you use to create a hierarchy, uh, fields that you use to sort another column. Uh, these fields are what we call technical fields. You need them, but then um, you don't need them in the visualization. You don't use them directly in the visualization. Um, you can go to each of the fields and hide them, but there is a way to hide them all together at once, multiple fields, which I'm going to show you. So let's jump into my screen. So here, as you can see in my screen, I have a Power BI desktop open. If we uh, search for a field such as, for example, customer. We see all the customer information, but alongside all of these customer info information, for example, you see there's a customer key as well. Um, now, customer key in this case is not something that I want my report visualizers to use it because they have other fields to work with, name of the customers, even customer ID from the source system, but not the customer key. Customer key is the field that if I go to the model view, I see this field has been used to connect the two tables, customer table and fact internet cells based on the customer key. So I cannot remove this field. I cannot remove this column. Uh, if I would have, if I had the option to remove it, that would have been better because bringing it into Power BI consumes space. In this case, I cannot remove them. The relationship relies on it, but I don't want this to be visible in the front end, especially for my self-service report visualizers, because they use this connection to my semantic model and they just want to see the fields that is useful for them instead of mixing up all the fields. Uh, obviously in Power BI, you can go to each of these fields and click on this icon, this eye icon, which would hide that field. Uh, as simple as that. Now this is hidden. Uh, this is the icon of the field being hidden. When it is hidden, if I go to the customer table this time, you see that field is not here anymore. You still see that in the model tab, you see it in the table view as well. You can even use it in your DAX expressions. It is only for the front end, for the report visualizers, for um, users who are using live connection to connect to the semantic model. For them, this is invisible. Uh, but you can do this for multiple fields at a time. If you do it this way, it's just one field at a time. This is also possible to be done from the report view. Here you can click on a field and actually hide it from here right with this option. But that is also one single field at a time. Even in the table tab, same thing. You'll go and find the field. Uh, whatever the field is and hide it. But if you go to the model view, and this is the way that you would do it when you want to hide multiple fields at a time. Uh, whenever you want to apply multiple, um, any settings, formattings on multiple fields uh, at once in Power BI, go to the model view. And this is the place for the model view. Inside the model view, you can actually search for that field. In this case, let's say I'm searching for key columns and you see I have plenty of the key columns. I can actually select all of these key columns. Let's say I don't want to use any of these um, in, in any of the, uh, the places that report visualizers go and see it. I'll hold the control key. So you hold the control key, you select them all. And then once you've done that, once you've selected them, then you just go and set this is hidden to be true. Just as simple as that. And you see all of these are now hidden. If I go and search for any key column, obviously I haven't done it for all the other columns, but let's just do it for a few others as well. Now, if I go to the report tab and search for anything with key, apart from that full date alternate key, that is the only one that I kept, and this one, 
uh, everything else is gone from the report view but still we have it in the model still we have it in DAX we can use it this setting is not for just hiding the fields even if you want to set formatting for multiple fields you can select them together under the formatting you can set their data types any settings you want to do at the field level for multiple table multiple fields you can do it easily for um, for multiple fields using the model tab so model tab is a place that you can set this uh, same option is also available in Power BI website in the online model editor. This was a really simple tip to help you to, um, to build your Power BI solutions faster. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Until the next video, bye.